working a lot of um, uh, saddle entries from the butterfly uh, guard, right? So we're here, all right, I'm with my partner. Again, we're always practicing that little hand fighting, right? So again, I'm not just gonna be able to just slide right in into my partner and get my, get my butterfly hooks, right? I'm always trying to deal with his hands, always trying to like mess with it, break his posture, work some arm drags. And then when I'm looking to go, start opening them up here, all right? But, Instead of opening up for a butterfly sweep, instead I'm actually just going to look to push it over my shoulders as I start looking to come through and control my partner's triceps. All right. What I don't want is uh, my partner to have double unders. All right. This one over my shoulders. All right. So now from here, once I close that space, my feet are in between my partner's legs. I'm going to start looking to rock back, and as I rock, I'm using my grip on his triceps to throw my partner over my head. All right. So I'm here. Boom. I elevate using my legs here. All right, so now, once my partner's really far ahead of me, I'm gonna start using a frame to make it easier for me to transition over to single leg X here. All right, so once I get to the single leg X, and my partner is still posting his hands up, I'm gonna immediately start looking to get into my reverse X guard here. All right, so I'm here. This foot on his hip is gonna be the one that moves out. As my other foot is still pressed against my partner's butt, to keep him forward here. All right, so now from here, boom, I snatch up against my partner's top of his knee. I elevate, snatch, come down, and I get the saddle. All right, so now from here, I'm gonna go for two attacks. First one, we've worked a little bit uh, last week, uh, the ankle lock. So from here, I'm gonna do a little bicep curl, get this bend in the leg, so that way I'm able to sneak my own foot inside my partner's, uh, underneath my partner's leg here. All right, so now from here, once I get this, I'm gonna use my own knee, keep tight, exactly like how we've been practicing in uh, Alex's class. And then now from here, I'm gonna look to isolate this foot. All right, so the way that I'm gonna grip is I'm gonna keep low against his Achilles here, and now I'm gonna make a Kimura grip on my own wrist here. All right, so now I'm gonna stay in an upright position because I'm gonna look for an alternative should, for whatever reason, my ankle lock not work, right? So to finish the ankle lock, once I'm here, boom, boom, I'm gonna start looking to hide my own uh, elbow into my own ribs, and as I start going, I'll bridge and flare up my chest here, here, and he taps, all right? So uh, if, for whatever reason, my partner is able to pull his leg out, immediately I'm gonna start looking to isolate uh, the heel hook on, on this leg here, all right? So I'm gonna immediately scoop underneath his knee, and when I do, I'm gonna start also curling myself in here. That way I can start looking to expose his heel here. All right, so here, one, two, three. Now, when I look to finish, what I'm gonna do, make sure my wrist is against my partner's heel, clasp my hands together, and then now from here, get a nice bite, and he taps. All right, guys, so again, we're in butterfly here, boom. Start looking to come through. And notice how I'm using my own feet to pull myself in. Grab my partner's triceps, I pull them over my head, and as I start pulling, I'm gonna rock back and elevate my legs. So I'm here, boom, boom. Really trying to throw him over. All right, so now from here, boom, one, two. All right, I like keeping my hand against my partner's armpit to keep him away from me. Here, I shift. Snatch, falls through, let's turn a little bit. And then now from here, really using this curl to keep my partners upright. All right, now from here, start looking to go. Foot inside, start looking to isolate that foot. Sometimes even, I don't even need to hide my elbow. Sometimes I could go straight into the ankle lock position here. So I'm here, one, two, here, open up my chest. Start leaning back, any taps, or from here, let's say I lose the ankle for whatever reason, boom, I start looking to open up his knee, here, hide my feet, come down onto his foot, 
isolate the heel here, and then I start pushing it go. All right, so again. Uh, let's go this way. So we're here, boom, boom. Control. All right, guys, any questions on that? Yep. Um, with this leg that's uh, hooked inside his uh, right thigh, is the tension, is there tension in terms of like pushing or pulling the leg? For the heel hook? Uh, ankle lock. For the ankle lock? Yeah. So we're here, boom. And you're saying this foot, yeah, right? This foot, this foot. Yeah, so from here, yeah, so the only tension I'm looking to do is I'm bringing this knee into that same leg. I don't want to let it just hang out because, again, that's when it'll be very easy for them to slide that foot out. So from here, I'm keeping this tension. And I'm keeping this upright position here the whole time. And then from there, that's where I'll look to go. All right, guys? So if you have this a few times, any questions, call me over. Ready? One, two.